some fun stuff. Yeah, we're very pleased to have McDonald's involved. Uh, next Tuesday morning, it's going to be a breakfast drive through uh, We're going to have a special breakfast for anyone coming through uh, with most of the proceeds uh, through the generosity of McDonald's uh, to go to the Canadian Firefighters Museum. Uh, this is going to be the first, or actually the second, of many events we're going to have this year because we're really building up the museum. It's time that the Canadian Firefighters Museum hit the big time, and we intend to do it. <laughs> I followed you. No, Hamilton was out This uh, Friday and Saturday, it's going to be Firefighting Museum Day at Walmart here in Coburg. Uh, we'll be there all day, uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, we hope to have an antique fire truck uh, on display. We'll have a table set up with some firefighting uh, paraphernalia from the museum. Uh, people will have a chance to, to look at that. Uh, people will have a chance to um, to pick up some brochures, information, maybe maybe uh, apply for a membership. Uh, we don't turn anybody down in the museum. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go. Can everybody cozy really, really, really? Yes, there's a figure we have in mind, but I'd rather not say what it is. We are appreciative of anything we can get, and we are most appreciative to the operators of the McDonald's in, in Coburg and Port Hope uh, for this opportunity. Uh, it would be best if they would pre-order, uh, we, then we would be able to engage uh, than to expect because we have to prepare special uh, packages for, for each uh, participant. Uh, the Canadian Firefighters Museum in Port Hope uh, is uh, a museum covering the uh, history and the paraphernalia, fire trucks, everything the firefighters use uh, to uh, service uh, small towns in Canada, big towns as well. Uh, the story needs to be told. Firefighters are, uh, are a heroic group. And the history of firefighting goes a long way back in Canada. We've got uh, horse-drawn uh, machinery, we've got mechanized machinery, fire trucks uh, right up to 1952, and, and some that are a lot older. Uh, it's a small museum, uh, but we, we see it as Canada's national firefighting museum. We've got one of the largest collections of fire trucks, uh, fire hydrants in Canada. We need bigger facilities. Uh, the facility we're in now is far too small. We have much more in our collection than we can display. So we're looking to raise money to secure a larger premises for the Firefighter Museum, and uh, we think that's within our grasp. Uh, the museum started about 20 years ago, uh, in the uh, late uh, 80s. Uh, it was started by a bunch of local firefighting enthusiasts. A uh, bit of a hobby, uh, but it, it caught on. Uh, the town of Port Hope was, was generous, they, they gave us the use of uh, what was, it was called, and still is called, the Old Town Sheds, it's where the municipal uh, the equipment used to be kept, and uh, one by one we, we took over more and more space there, and as I mentioned before, uh, we need even more space now. It's a small museum with the potential to grow, I, I always think of it as the, the little museum that can. We're doing it simultaneously, looking for space and, and creating the funds to either uh, procure a building or, or, to, or to rent one. We need a lot more space. Uh, we have our eyes on some buildings in downtown Port Hope that would be perfect. We want to keep the building uh, associated with the downtown. We think that it's a win-win it's a situation for the merchants and businesses in Port Hope to have a tourist attraction right there amongst the business section. So uh, we won't be locating out of town, we won't be locating at the edge of town. You wouldn't believe where we have fire trucks and uh, fire hydrants and uh, uh, fire wagons, uh, all sorts of things hidden, uh, both in Port Hope uh, and in Toronto. Uh, our curator is a, a Toronto-based uh, fire captain. Uh, he is uh, very good at coming up with the firefighting paraphernalia, in fact, maybe a little bit too good because we have a lot. Uh, and we just can't store it in the building that we have. Uh, we also have promises from other organizations. We have a promise uh, whenever we get a larger facility that we could have a firefighting aircraft. Uh, we could have a firefighting uh, watercraft uh, to display. Uh, but those things are only possible if we make a move. That's why we're starting this initiative right now. Uh, we're open uh, seven days a week from Victoria Day uh, weekend uh, to Thanksgiving.